Uh, okay, so now we will start again. So we have uh, Eichel from uh, from Red Hat as well, yeah, and he will give us an update um, of the status of the Cloud Sig and what has been going on and the future of the of the Sig as well. Okay, so the floor is yours. Okay. Uh, good tag, good morning, buenas mañanas, bonjour. Uh, I don't speak all this language, but I know that you are a very diverse audience. Uh, okay, so this hour will be dedicated to cloud things. So this first talk will be uh, an update from the cloud sig itself. And afterwards, you'll have a more in technical, in-depth uh, talk from my coworkers, Javier and Alfredo in the back. So I start with uh, where self-introduction for people who don't already know me here. Uh, I'm Aiko. Uh, I work at Red Hat as Radio Release Engineering, but uh, on the community side, I've been a CentOS and Fedora developer. Uh, Fedora for now 13 years, and CentOS. Uh, I'd say that I started in the cloud a few months be being before being hired at Red Hat. So. I'm not here on uh, full time uh, as a Red Hat employee. There's a percentage of me who is already on committee side. So I'll give some historical background of the Cloud Sig, and that's not something that everyone knows. It was bootstrapped by a fellow friend of mine named Kushal Das, mid uh, 2014. So we decided to create uh, this group to uh, allow people uh, to develop and ship uh, all cloud infrastructure as service products on top of CentOS. So the initial goal was not just to deliver OpenStack, but also all the of our other friends. We, we have a representative initially from Eucalyptus, OpenNebula, and we are already in talks with people from CloudStack. And uh, another goal of us was, okay, we can ship all this product and do the pa package everything we need, but it would be more interesting from a community perspective if we were relying on the work from other SIGs, like virtualization SIG, storage SIG, which we were, well, for virtualization, I think it already started. Storage was at the same stages as us, but from the day one, we wanted to leverage the, all those SIGs work. And it got approved in the board by in October 1st. So we celebrated two weeks ago our fourth anniversary. So four years later, what's the outcome? We're currently supporting four OpenStack release, well, soon three. Um, since we are deprecating uh, Newton uh, soon. And eight more has been, uh, well, put in the vault. So we've made now 12 releases of OpenStack. S and, uh, well, considering our rough beginnings, we are quite proud that our release infrastructure is mostly automated. So you'll have uh, more details in the next talk about that. But also, in terms of uh, the user story, well, I'm glad that uh, for OpenStack, we have this OpenStack survey that provided us some data and provided by some kind of neutral uh, authority on that matter, is that uh, when we started, 19% of production deployment of OpenStack were made on CentOS. And I wanted to compare that uh, with Ubuntu, which was the reference system then. 49% were on Ubuntu. I don't mean that as, a, as a, we're competing or something, just wanted to have some reference to compare with. At the end of 2017, because we don't have the number for 2018, if you have them, I'd be glad to get them. 31% now of production clouds run on CentOS. 18% on RHEL. And for CloudSig, it matters to have the numbers of RHEL because part of RHEL users are also using RDO directly and not just the uh, 
commercial offering of Red Hat uh, or because RDO, which is a sub product, uh, this open stack sub product of CentOS CloudSeq, is running on both CentOS and RHEL. And Ubuntu is now at 38%. So it means that the work of the CloudSeq had the real impact in the open stack landscape. And I'd like to emphasize this, that we can consider that CentOS slash RDO is now the premier OpenStack distro for production deployment. I'm not saying for all deployment, but for production, people are considering uh, using CentOS and RDO. So in that aspect, we were very successful. But of course, now that emphasizes the positive side now let's see where, which area weren't not that successful. So yes, rather than speaking about uh, failures and, and stuff, I want to emphasize that failures are first attempts in learning. So the CloudSeq failed in bringing and keeping the other groups. Uh, from the initial board, uh, four years later, only half of the initial board is still uh, active, which is also a good thing. But uh, for instance, well, Eucalyptus had different uh, issues, uh, like being bought by another company. So it changed a lot of things for them, like, um, well, half of the team be getting fired or something. For Open Nebula, uh, they started uh, having some bugs in the CBS or bug system, but um, I heard from them that they had some uh, project uh, priority changes changing. So at some point, well, the CloudSeq was not a priority for them anymore. And for CloudStack, well, we're still discussing with them, but we didn't lost any hope. So uh, yesterday we had this uh, SIG gathering where we exchanged our experience and um, tried to define some actions to improve that situation. And here are the outcome. So I want to say this is only the beginning of the cloud SIG. And um, our bright day are still be in ahead of us. So we elected the new chair, Rain Leander, the, over there. Uh, so uh, if you ever want to uh, join the Cloud SIG or RDO, feel free to ping her. She's the right person. Of course, you can ping me uh, if you want to speak French or Javier Alfredo if you want to speak Spanish. We know that uh, speaking your native tongue can <coughs> make things easier, so feel free. Um, so we decided to pursue efforts in outreach. So if you're interested, in uh, either contributing uh, in any of the other projects, come on. And if you have any other suggestion, like uh, this uh, shiny new YAS project uh, that uh, is not packaged for CentOS, the same. We're here for that. Um, we also want to uh, collaborate with, with, um, within the six broader community to improve our onboarding experience. And I'd be very interested in hearing your onboarding experience. Even, even uh, what uh, we were successful, what we were not so successful in onboarding you. And if we, you didn't try the onboarding experience, tell us why. Um, we're not here to judge you. We're here to fix that process. And also um, to simplify things, so why we're also uh, making more efforts into outreach, uh, we will merge RDO and CloudSeq meetings to avoid rehashing uh, whatever we're speaking. And uh, we'll try to improve the communication with uh, CentOS community on that topic. Um, I know that we are not so good at that. So. Well, we'll do better. And now we need your help. And uh, more specifically, we need people to write documentation. 
And especially in the open, st in open stack field, you're all open stack experts, or at least there is a decent pool of open stack experts. So we'd love to have you helping writing documentation. And uh, if needed, we will also direct you to upstream documentation because we don't want to duplicate that effort to do packaging. Uh, at least I've seen two people here and more that are involved in packaging OpenStack, and probably more, but uh, maybe I don't know you by face. We also are looking for Brian CI and sysadmin skills to maintain CI. Uh, if you are an Ansible wizard, well, I suggest you contact us, and spe specifically uh, Javier, since he's working on that team, to maintain our infrastructure which is very similar to upstream OpenStack infrastructure, if you were involved in that. We have Zool, Garrett, and all those Chinese stuff from OpenStack land. And of course, contributing to upstream OpenStack. So if you're interested, come on. We don't, well, I won't bite you, at least not today. And so now, we spoke about the Cloud Sig uh, group and stuff. Now let's focus on the latest news. So we released on September uh, OpenStack Rocky on three hardware platforms, x86-64, PVC-64LE, and R64. So <coughs> about status, uh, well, of course, uh, the first platform is the one that is heavily tested and has a good CI um, coverage. We also had people who, at IBM who tested PPCC64LE uh, release. And it's 